In this video, we're going to find the derivative of a natural log function. It says find the derivative of f of x equals 3x times natural log negative x to the fifth minus 4x. And you can see we have a product rule. So I'll start by saying is u equals 3x, u prime is 3, v is natural log of negative x to the fifth minus 4x. And now I'm going to have v prime here which is going to be the derivative of this natural log, but it's a chain rule because I have a function inside of a function. So let's first determine what the derivative of a natural log is, and that's 1 over x. So when I take this derivative, I get 1 over negative x to the fifth minus 4x. But that's going to be multiplied times the derivative of the inside, which would be negative x to the fifth, minus 4x. When I do the derivative there, I get 1 over negative x to the fifth minus 4x. Derivative here would be, so times, we're just going to put a parenthesis here, that would be negative 5x to the fourth uh, minus 4. So I end up with negative 5x to the 4th minus 4 over negative x to the 5th minus 4x. So then I can actually use the product rule, so I can say that f prime of x is equal to 3 times the natural log here, so that's 3 natural log negative x to the 5th minus 4x, u prime times v, and then I could factor a negative out of both the top and the bottom here. Let's simplify that just a little farther. If I factor a negative out of the top, I end up with a negative 1, uh, 5, x to the 4th, plus 4. Do the same thing on the bottom, negative 1, x to the 5th, plus 4x. Those negative 1's cancel, I'm left with just 5x to the 4th, plus 4, over x to the 5th plus 4x. Looks a little better now. It's the same expression, just a little better. So I'm doing the second part of the product rule, and I'm taking u, which is 3x, and I'm going to multiply it times 5x to the 4th plus 4 over x to the 5th plus 4x. So I end up with 3 natural log negative x to the fifth minus 4x plus, if I distribute that 3 to the top, I'd get 15x to the fifth plus 12x to the, or plus 12x over, this would be x to the fifth plus 4x. I should have factored an x out, actually, because I can cancel one from each of these. So let's do that. That would equal 3 natural log negative x to the fifth minus 4x. If I factor an x out of the top and an x out of the bottom, I get 1 to cancel. Right, I get x, out, x over x. So I'm going to have plus 15x to the fourth plus 12 all over x to the fourth plus 4. And that would be the final answer for the derivative.